फॉर्मूला 44 होलिस्टिक वेलनेस रेजिमेन वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस टेक्निक्स ऑफ मेडिटेशन लेट अस पिक अप सम वर्सेस फ्रॉम भगवत गीता टू रिफ्लेक्ट एंड मेडिटेट द वन एलिमेंट ऑफ फॉर्मूला 44 एक्सरसाइजेस इज मेडिटेशन फॉर एट लिस्ट 5 टू 10 मिनट्स एवरी डे इन द मॉर्निंग 5 टू 10 मिनट्स एवरी डे इन द इवनिंग we sit in a uh, uh, effective pose asan for example lotus pose half lotus pose with the straight body we close our eyes we make a mudra and we meditate so the theme for the meditation today is the verses from bhagavad gita 7th chapter Wherein, after describing the power of Maya, God's material energy, Sri Krishna talks about who are the people who believe in Sri Krishna, who come to Him, who surrender to Him, and who are the ones who doubt, who don't make any efforts. It's a very beautiful chapter and uh, a beautiful theme to reflect upon. the message of bhagavad gita so the verse number 714 we learnt devi hi esha gunmai mam maya duratyaya mameva e prapadyante maya metam taranti te the lord says that my maya is extremely extremely difficult to fathom no one can actually overcome the maya it is so strong it is my energy but when i grace someone then only the maya can be eliminated so the message is very simple that maya is under god and only when god decides to eliminate the effect of maya on an individual the maya can be eliminated swami mukundanand in his uh, uh, commentary of bhagavad gita talks about the example of the of the dog the alsatian dog which is uh, protecting the house and this gentleman visits his friend's house but he cannot enter because the alsatian is, is standing in front of him and uh, glaring at him he tries uh, his best but uh, he cannot and then his friend emerges from the door and he orders the alsatian hey tommy come here and then tommy is under control and the friend can enter the house that is exactly how the maya can only be controlled by god and our efforts to get rid of the leftenants of maya which are reflected by the different different aspects like anger greed lust attachment fear frustration jealousy envy etc these can only be eliminated if the maya is ordered by the lord to pack its bag that being the theme in 714 let us see what the lord says in 715 716 and 717 In 7:15, the Lord says, "Devi, sorry, namam duskritno mudha prapad dente naradhama maya ya aprita gyanam ashuram bhava mashita." There are four types of people who don't surrender to me, O Arjun. Which are these four types? Mudha naradham maya ya aprita gyanam and ashuram bhava mashita. Mudha the lord classifies as the ones who are ignorant they don't know about the spiritual laws the divine realm they are only aware about this material world the lord classifies them as mudhas ignorant the second class are the ones who are aware but they don't make enough efforts they are the naradham and the third category maya ya aprita gyana are the ones who are having the pride about their intellect 
their pride prevents them from accepting the scriptural injunctions the laws of god and even though they cannot explain about the creation about the mystery they have their own concocted theories and the fourth category which is the asuram bhava mashita are the ones who are inimical to god they believe that god is there but they don't want to acknowledge god's sovereignty god's superiority these are the four classes namam duskitno mudha prapadyante naradhama mayaya apita gyanam asuram bhava mashita mudha the ignorant naradham the lazy mayaya apita gyana the ones with the pride for their intellect and asuram bhava mashita the ones who have this inimical attitude toward god now let us see 7 16 wherein the lord says the lord says chatur vidha bhajante maam jana sukirtano arjuna arto jigyasur artharthi gyani cha bhartarsha the lord says and there are other four types of people who do engage in the spiritual activities they are the artha jigyasur gyani and artharthi the first category art are the distressed people who are so miserable because of their distresses that they have surrendered to god and they have taken to engage in a spiritual pursuit the second one artharthi the ones who are seekers of the material wealth material opulences they have tried every bit in the material world they have not succeeded and now they are seeking the divine help jigyasur are the ones who are inquisitive they are curious to know about god and gyani are the ones who are already situated in the knowledge so they don't have any problem in accepting the supremacy of god and they don't have any problem in deciding to surrender to god so once again chaturvidha bhajante maam jana sukirtno arjuna arto jigyasur arthati gyani cha bharsarsha bha arth distressed jigyasur curious arthati seeker of wealth gyani the one situated in knowledge and what does finally shri krishna say in shloka number 17 he says out of these eight categories of people the one who is the most dear to me is the gyani bhakt he says that tesham gyani nityukta ek bhaktir visheshyate priyo hi gyani notyartham ya sa cha mama priya the one who is the most dear to me is the gyani bhakt not only the person who has the knowledge but he is also accepting the the supremacy of the lord the existence of the divine realm so these are some uh, amazing nuggets from chapter 7 of bhagavad gita very beautiful to to implement in our formula 44 meditation hope this is interesting for you and let us meet again with a new theme take care